It's been more than a decade since fans got to sit in the theater and watch Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law hunt criminals through the back alleys of London in Guy Ritchie's Sherlock Holmes franchise. But will the game, as they say, ever be afoot once more? Even before Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows hit theaters, a third movie in the series was announced with writer Drew Pierce, who was then prepping Iron Man 3 for Marvel, hired to pen the script. Though no release date was revealed, it wasn't expected to be far away. But scheduling soon became a major obstacle. In September 2012, Jude Law remarked on these delays, telling Collider, I mean, there's certainly talk of it, and I know there's a script being played around with, but Downey's a busy boy, and I'm a busy boy, so we'll see. But we want to do another one. We are a very happy team, and we have a lot of fun, and we also think there's still a lot of legs in the duo. Between Robert Downey Jr., Jude Law, and director Guy Ritchie always being in demand, it seems like something had to give if Sherlock Holmes 3 were to ever move forward. That give finally gave in 2019 when Dexter Fletcher signed on to replace Ritchie as the sequel's director, with a planned 2021 release date. But when the COVID-19 pandemic hit in 2020, the project became one of many to be put on hold. As of 2022, Fletcher remained unsure of when Sherlock Holmes 3 might finally see the light of day, telling Collider, I don't know what the timeline of that is, unfortunately, but I believe it should be happening. It's fantastic. I think it's about all the right people being at the right place at the right time. I think it's that. The cast of the first two Sherlock Holmes movies have had a lot to say about the prospect of a follow-up, starting with the man who directed the first film, Guy Ritchie. In 2022, he spoke with Collider about the long gestating third entry and said it all depends on the movie star, remarking, So, Robert Downey Jr. wanted to be in charge of this. The ball's in his court, so he's in charge of the script. He's in charge of the whole thing. I've moonwalked out of that until there's a time for me to get involved. He'll no longer be party to my investigations. He's out of the equation. Considering that Downey has become one of the most powerful stars in Hollywood over the last 10 years, it can be assumed that he could use his clout to take charge of Sherlock Holmes 3. So what has he had to say about it? So far, the actor has been tight-lipped, but his entourage spoke to the rap in 2023 with an encouraging update. Downey's wife and producing partner Susan Downey explained, We had lunch together with Robert, the three of us, and Sherlock Holmes 3 was a very specific topic of conversation. So yes, it's in the hopper. We're going to do it when it's right, with the right people, but it is a priority for the company and a priority for Robert. If Sherlock Holmes 3 ever does come to pass, what will it be about? The finale of Sherlock Holmes A Game of Shadows sees the end of Holmes's nemesis Moriarty as well as the fake-out death of Holmes himself who returns in the film's closing moments. The third entry could pick up right where that scene leaves off, but with more than a decade having passed since the second film debuted, that might not be possible. What we do know is that Robert Downey Jr. has big ambitions for the threequel. In a 2014 Reddit AMA, he said, We have a Sherlock 3 in development. We want it to be the best of the series, so that's a pretty tall order. Though some might scoff at a return from Moriarty, the long layoff could come in handy here. The villain's return from death, whether through a literal resurrection or his own crafty fakeout, could provide star power from actor Jared Harris and a worthy adversary looking for a long-awaited rematch against the London detective. Conclusion. Inevitable. Whether the film reintroduces Holmes's most famous foe, adapts a classic literary tale we've yet to see on screen, or creates an entirely new enemy for Holmes to face, everyone involved wants to make sure it's a story worthy of a third film. Jude Law told Empire, We want it to be better than the other two. We want to make sure it's smarter and cleverer, but in the same realm. The world of movies has changed a great deal since the first Sherlock Holmes films hit theaters all the way back in 2009. Between the explosion of cinematic universes and the rise of streaming platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video, it's harder and harder for new movies to make their mark and find success. Throw in the devastating impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the entire theater industry around the world and there's no telling what kind of a box office Sherlock Holmes 3 would net. Moreover, Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes stories have garnered a number of popular adaptations since 2009. Most prominent is the BBC's Sherlock series, starring Downey's MCU co-star Benedict Cumberbatch. The show, which debuted in 2010, quickly became one of the hottest series on television. For many modern viewers, Cumberbatch's Sherlock is the definitive on-screen take on the character. Stateside, CBS's Elementary enjoyed a wildly successful seven seasons on the air, led by Johnny Lee Miller as Sherlock and Lucy Liu as Dr. Joan Watson. Moreover, Netflix netted a major hit with Enola Holmes. Henry Cavill plays the famed detective in this film, which got a sequel in 2022. That's not where the adaptations end, either. Recall the notorious 2018 flop that is Holmes and Watson. There's also the 2015 drama Mr. Holmes, starring Ian McKellen as an aging version of Sherlock. 
finally, there is the upcoming CBS series Watson, which is, of course, centered around Holmes's right-hand man. Have audiences had their fill of Arthur Conan Doyle's great sleuth? It's possible that Sherlock Holmes 3 might simply be a bit too much Sherlock in an already Sherlock-heavy time.